It's common in apps to include the user's name, maybe job title, and photo in the upper right-hand corner just for that consistent experience across apps. Like even in Microsoft 365, we notice we see our profile photo at least. So if you want to do something similar in your apps, first we need to connect the data that allows us to pull profile photos. So we're going to go to Add Data, and then we're going to search for Office 365 users. Okay, once you've found that, select it and then select your email address underneath that connection name. All right, now we've got the connection to Office 365 users, which allows us to get the picture. So now we need the picture placeholder. So we're going to go to Insert and choose Image, and insert an image. And let's just get it sort of positioned where we want it. I'm just going to squeeze it up here in this upper right corner. There we go. And then for your image property, and the formula we're going to use is Office 365 users, user photo v2, and then the email address of the user. So for this, all you have to do to get the current user's email address is type in user, and then open and close parentheses, dot email, and then close. So we can see that worked just by itself. Megan's photo popped up here. Uh, just with this formula. However, you're going to get an error if a user hasn't uploaded a profile photo, so we need to do a little bit more. So to check to see if they have a photo, we're going to put an if at the very beginning, and then look for Office 365 users, and there's a specific uh, property here called user photo metadata. So we're going to do that, and then open up the same parentheses and do user.email again. So we're checking user photo metadata for this user, and then put a period after your closing parenthesis there, and you'll see there's an option here for has a photo. So if this user has a photo, we're going to say show that photo. And then in this case, we don't need to put uh, a blank or anything here. We'll just close our parentheses at the very end. There we go. So basically, if they have a photo, show it. If they don't, don't put anything. Now, you could have a default image if you want to upload a generic, you know, um, logo or a profile photo or an animal, whatever you want to put there. You would just put a comma and then the name of the photo that you uploaded. So I don't have anything uploaded there, so I won't do a false. We'll just leave it blank. All right. Now, one last touch. Notice how a lot of UI in Microsoft rounds the photos. If you want to do that with your app as well, just select the photo and then there's a property called border radius. So we're going to set border radius to 90 to turn that square into a circle. There we go. We've got our circular profile photo for this user, and we've set up error handling in case that user doesn't have a photo.